morning. Thank you all for being here uh, to formally kick off uh, the Get Your Business Online initiative right here in Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, we're very pleased uh, by the strong attendance and the strong RSVP for today, uh, but it reinforces uh, that in 2014, uh, it's really vital uh, that businesses both large and small have an online presence. Uh, before we begin our program, I'd like to welcome Brenda Shellen, uh, one of the owners of, of the Hotel Mead, to come forward uh, and to give us an update and to welcome us here to the Hotel Mead uh, and to uh, tell us what's happening at the Hotel Mead and some changes that are happening here that uh, I think we all can appreciate. Brenda? Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Um, some of you know who I am, others do not. I usually am running around and making sure everything's happening and um, work a lot of the backside. Um, and my partner, Al DeBerry, is more of our PR person, so some of you may know him. Al De uh, Larry Davis, he takes care of all of our HR prop, um, situations and he takes care of all that. My husband, Melvin, is one of the other partners and he is very much involved in all the maintenance here. Um, when we purchased it, there was a lot of maintenance issues. Um, a lot of those have been resolved. We still have a lot more to go. <laughs> but um, appreciate everybody that has been um, attending the Mead and meetings, staying here, coming to the Molino, coming to the Grand Avenue Tavern. And some of you that do come here may have noticed some of the changes. We've upgraded some of the furniture in the uh, public areas. We've um, made changes into the Molino as far as the decor. Um, not a lot, but just something to make it fresh and, and look nicer. We now have kicked off our new menus in the Molino and in the Grand Avenue Tavern and hope to see you in there. Sunday brunch is back in, from uh, 10 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. Um, we've also got um, buy one, get one half off entree on Sunday and Mondays. So um, please come and enjoy those benefits. We've also now, um, within the month, we're going to be having the Rewards Network, if any of you are aware, um, know of that group, it's um, rewards that you can earn every purchase that you make here at the hotel, whether it's in a hotel room, in one of the dinner um, situations, or in the bar. So you run your credit card, and those of you that know the rewards program, I do have flyers as far as who is in the program um, to build up your miles or um, dollars or whatever one you want. That will be in place within a month, and that will be on the website. It'll be on their website, and that way you can see who in the area is also on there. Um, we've got that going. We have our new website up and running. Um, our new pictures are on there for the, the hotel, what's happening at the hotel. We have things, the different events that are going on um, when we have live music. This weekend we have Loving Country on Friday, and Saturday we have uh, Rumors. So hope to see some of you there. Um, our room upgrades, we have now curves, uh, shower rod curtains and new curtains in the West Tower entrance, shower heads, and um, we made an accent wall and we've upgraded the product that's in the room. So we would like to see everybody come and take a, if you wanna take a tour, we're more than happy to give you some. Any questions for me? I know I'm kind of lengthy here. I'm sure there's a lot more to talk about, but. <laughs> so thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, obviously illustrating the importance of a fresh website. We appreciate uh, yours and the rest of the ownership group's investment here at the Hotel Mead. Uh, really a critical uh, facet to the local economy here, not only for meetings and events, but for anybody looking to come to the community for business purposes and stay here. So thank you again for updating us on the investment and the uh, progress you're making as business owners and business leaders. You all can recognize uh, and kind of uh, feel for the need to continuously improve. So thank you for recognizing that. Uh, today's breakfast will serve as an introduction to the Get Your Business Online uh, initiative uh, that's launched during the final days here of National Get Your Business Online Week, uh, which Google has designated this week. Uh, the event would not have been possible with outside support. Uh, I'm proud to say that Solaris' Media Shower uh, has uh, agreed to, um, to co-sponsor today's event, recognizing the importance of a strong infrastructure in our community, 
uh, and how it is important and, and ties in with getting our local businesses online. Uh, I'd also like to thank our partners in the initiative, the Chamber of Commerce. Chris is here to recognize uh, the Chamber of Commerce, CAP Services uh, with Carla. Uh, we appreciate all your efforts in helping secure uh, our local businesses' successes here. Um, I'd like to invite Callie Thibodeau to the front, the project manager at Solaris, to speak about the investment in infrastructure uh, for our community and the importance it has in making us competitive for attracting new business to the area. Kelly? Thank you. Good morning. Um, that's okay. As the mayor said, my name is Kelly, and I am here representing on behalf of Team Solaris to really reiterate the importance of this initiative and to touch on the role that Solaris plays um, in this partnership with this initiative and with the community members and local business owners. Many of you hopefully already know the investment, the large investment and in new infrastructure that Solaris has made in this area and the surrounding communities. But maybe you don't fully know or understand the scale of it. So that's why I'm here. In the last 10 years, Solaris has invested over $80 million in new technologies for this community. 20 to 30 million of that investment has been devoted in basically the last three years to deploying a state-of-the-art true fiber network, uh, which we're proud to call Media Shower. Um, Media Shower recently can now offer speeds up to one gig which is faster than uh, most places in the world can offer. So we're really, really proud of that accomplishment. Now, um, for many of you who are familiar with Solaris, you probably know that investing and giving back to this community isn't a foreign concept to us or our employees. Um, it's actually a familiarity. We have been doing it for over 117 years. That's not me personally. I haven't been around quite that long, but the business. And um, it's because it's our mission. Our mission is we want local businesses and residents, such as yourselves, to be able to rely on a local provider for all of your electronic information needs. We understand that our role is providing the foundation, that's the network, the broadband connection in this case, to allow businesses to stay connected today and into the future. Um, as I said earlier, we're happy to kick off this initiative with the city, um, with the mayor, and um, most importantly with you. We want you to know that Solaris is here to help you succeed in this uh, endeavor and make your presence known online. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Well said. I think uh, many of us, we drive around this community or live here and don't appreciate sometimes what's in the ground, in this case, infrastructure related to broadband. Uh, the gigabit announcement is, is very, very positive. Uh, in fact, I submitted uh, a quote for their press release when Solaris announced that recently. Uh, really, it makes us as wired or as connected as many of the largest community or largest cities in the nation. So for a small community or community our size, uh, we're really proud to uh, have Solaris in our community and not only an investor in this initiative to assist us to get the breakfast launched today, uh, but just long term as we go forward. So thank you, Kelly, for that. I hope you all here today uh, under, leave this event with a better understanding of the importance an online presence has for our local businesses. Uh, and with the tools needed uh, to get your business started uh, to get on the map. Whether you, present, uh, whether you represent today a business that has no online presence, one that has started uh, with their presence online, uh, or looking to expand your online presence, uh, to this initiative has tools for you uh, in it. Um, so whether it's working with local solution providers that uh, may already be providing the service, uh, or using the tools that you'll hear today, uh, it is our hope that uh, you will leave with a common understanding of what it takes to get your business online. Um, as such, it is, and as your mayor, it's my responsibility to make sure uh, that businesses right here in our own community thrive and prosper. And uh, this is a challenge that I'm reminded of all the time and I take very seriously. Uh, and last year, uh, I saw a statistic that, although I knew was the case, uh, really startled me. 
Uh, that statistic stated that businesses with an online presence uh, grow as two times as fast, uh, which many of you online recognize that you know that's something you've already experienced. Um, but I've heard from lo many local businesses uh, how it still is a struggle to get their businesses online. Uh, and as such, uh, it's my job to bring awareness to businesses in our community uh, of the tools and resources available to them. So last May, I joined mayors from across the nation, uh, uh, leading cities both large and small for the Mayor's Innovation Summit in Philadelphia. Uh, at this summit, I was introduced to representatives from Google uh, who spoke of their programming aiming to offer one potential solution uh, to local businesses struggling to get their presence online. And it was at that 2014 State of the City address that I did last January where I introduced the partnership with Google to launch uh, the Get Your Business Online initiative right here in Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, and it was during that announcement that I spoke of a recording of a PSA, some of which you've already seen uh, run on our local TV station or River Cities Community Access over the last week leading up to this event. And so if you haven't seen it, we're gonna play it for all of you. Hello, Wisconsin Rapids. I'm on a mission to strengthen our city by helping every business in Wisconsin Rapids get online. 97% of internet users look for goods and services online, but 58% of businesses don't have a website. Businesses that are online are expected to grow 40% faster and twice as likely to create jobs. That's huge for small businesses and huge for Wisconsin Rapids. So join me and let's get our city's businesses online. Because stronger businesses build a stronger Wisconsin Rapids and the web can help. Let's go, Wisconsin Rapids. <laughs> We know that uh, small businesses are the backbone of our local economy. Businesses have always needed to be where their customers are. And in today's world, they're online. Statistics show that 97% of Americans who use the internet also utilize the web to look for goods and services online. Further, small businesses are responsible for creating over 40% of new jobs in America. It follows that our small businesses are important economic drivers for our area's long-term success. Whether you're already online or haven't begun the quest to be online, being online makes you more competitive. And there's a plethora of resources and methods available and approaches to getting online. But before I speak to what the specifics of the program are, I want to play a short video. This video highlights a small business, not unlike some of those in this room or right here in our area. Although this business is not local, it demonstrates the importance having an online presence, utilizing the tools presented today can have for local businesses that are not utilizing them. The Garment Exchange is a name brand and designer resale store. We focus on trendy, current, and classic vintage for guys and girls. We're located in San Antonio, Texas. I always did resale for my kids when they were little, and now they were in middle school, and fashion was really important to them, and it started to get really expensive, and as a single parent, I could not afford that stuff anymore. So I started the Garment Exchange. I think what sets my store apart is that I don't take the lower brands. I see these clothes coming in from people that don't want their name brand stuff anymore, and then these kids that can't afford $60 and $80 jeans can come in here and get them for $20, and they still look really cool. I knew a long time ago that I needed a website, but it just wasn't in my budget. Middle of July, this girl walks in and tells me about this meeting that's going to be literally down the street. It's free. So I went to the meeting, took their packet home, over the weekend, did my website, and I could not believe how easy it was. It happened in, I want to say, like 15 minutes. My first $400 in sales, I kept asking people, you know, how'd you find me? And they said, we Googled you, we're, we're visiting from Michigan. I started getting so busy. On that Saturday, I had sales increase of 250% from the Saturday before. Before I had my website, people were calling a lot, asking me questions about how does your consignment work and what are your hours. After I made my website, people could get all of that information online. I wish I would have known about this at the very beginning because this was all free and I could really just do it on my own. So since I started my website, I noticed 40% increase in my sales, which has actually allowed me to hire an extra employee. Now I can spend more of my time marketing my business.
So I really like this video because it demonstrates the, both the tools highlighted through this initiative, building a website and increasing your online presence, uh, both of which tools you may be exposed to and experiencing in your business today, but maybe not. Uh, partnering with Google affords all Wisconsin Rapids businesses, both large and small, the opportunity to take advantage of tools and resources to establish and increase your online presence. Uh, so for the website side, which there's two sides, um, Google's program will provide businesses with a website, a domain name, and web hosting, all free for one year. Additionally, the, B, the GYOB website, which was referenced in one of the videos, uh, offers anyone a large foray of resources through webinars, workbooks, and even live assistance uh, in a forum that they call the Help Desk, uh, at, all provided at no cost to users at any point. So really two sides, website and increasing the online presence, both of which are in the handouts that you've been given today. So if you visit GYOB.com, you'll see an easy to uh, navigate uh, and find resources to help you not only learn about the value of getting online, which I'm sure you've heard a lot about already this morning, but also learn of uh, options for increasing your online presence if you're not already online, even if you're already online. Uh, and so navigating the easy to build websites uh, tab allows you to build a website uh, in a small amount of time. The website builder has tools for you to use from standard images to forms. Uh, the website can be as simple as complex as you like, so it's really in your court. The other tool for those that are developing a website from scratch or have a website already is that which, which helps uh, show and promote that visibility online. Uh, this tool referred to as Google Plus helps promote your business uh, by increasing visibility on search results as well as displaying information uh, on the right hand pane of the search windows when users search for related items on the web. And so as you can see here uh, with Cadbury, uh, there is obviously, uh, once you fill out your Google Plus account, all of that information is populated when someone is Google searching potentially for your items or for your business. So instructions for the tools are available both online and hard copies are available here today. And so if you didn't grab them on your way in, they're on the registration table. Uh, point out, uh, you know, that uh, we also have, um, you know, Bottom line, we want to recognize that stronger businesses build a stronger Wisconsin Rapids uh, and how the web plays a role in making that possible. So the point being is if you're here with website today, it's great. You've already begun the quest. Uh, if you're here because you have a website uh, that needs some work or you're looking to scrap it, do something else, this is a solution, not the solution, uh, potentially, uh, as there are many solutions out there. Uh, and then finally, uh, getting your business known. All of us can uh, do our work to make sure that businesses uh, online uh, have and online have a fresh presence. So if you're online, making sure that you take the time to update that online presence as information, as we know, can get out of date very quickly. So all of the resources in which you've been presented today. So Wisconsin Rapids is walking the talk. Uh, at the State of the City in January, I talked about uh, how our Planning and Economic Development Department is now working to get their resources online. Traditionally, when someone shows to City Hall, uh, whether they're starting or growing a business, they have to make an appointment with the mayor or Planning and Economic Development Director or somebody else uh, to see us. Uh, so what we're doing is we're pulling all these resources and getting them online in a very simple, easy to use way. So uh, this is a plug for city resources available to businesses in our community, one of which is available loans. Uh, we're gonna have the loan application available online. Uh, the purpose of the loan application is not only to create jobs and to grow your business, but also potentially to give you some working capital. So if you're in a position where uh, you, uh, bank financing is not exclusively an option to you, uh, we have a tool available to us, to the, available to the city, um, city businesses, uh, called the Revolving Loan Fund. Uh, it's part of a regional fund uh, that's available to all of you. It's a very attractive interest rate, 2% loan. Uh, so that's going to be available online. It's available in paper today, so it's not like you have to wait for this to get uh, programmed and, and uploaded. Um, but then tools to grow your business. So whether or not you're, you're applying for a permit with the city, uh, taking out building permits, etc., you can do all that online. Some of which is already available today through the city website. It's a bit to, difficult to navigate and to find, uh, but it's there. So this tool, when it launches, is meant to walk the talk that not only are we asking and encouraging city businesses to get their businesses online, but the city itself is also doing a better job increasing our online presence to be much more responsive to city businesses. We all know that you don't work at an 8 to 4.30 schedule like City Hall works, that this will be available 24-7 to all of you. 
And so that will be launched uh, later this spring uh, in early summer, and it'll be an evolution where we're constantly putting more resources online. So frequently asked questions. I've been asked a few questions since the commercial started running, uh, since we uh, sent out the invite. I want to point out a couple of things. One of the questions that I've been asked, what does this initiative cost the city? Uh, so other than the time of your mayor, uh, of an assistant, my assistant right here, Nick, uh, and the materials you see printed around the room, that's the only investment that the city has in this program. Google has uh, given us, graciously given us the opportunity to record the commercial. They produce the commercial. Uh, Solaris has graciously run the PSAs on their network. Tom from RCCA Community Access has also ran them on his network. So no cost to the taxpayers to raise the awareness of getting businesses online. So other than the, the soft costs of staff time and the materials. So I want to point that out. So thanks again to our partners for that. Uh, another question that I've been asked is why is the city competing against other solu solutions and tools and resources? Well, we're not. The whole purpose of why we're launching this initiative here in Wisconsin Rapids is the simple fact that we want to raise awareness of why businesses need to be online. Recognizing the statistics can show all day long that businesses that are online grow as twice as fast. Uh, and they're also 40% more likely to create jobs. So I uh, want to make sure that we reiterate that here this morning. So if you get asked in the community as we roll out this initiative long term, uh, that the city's purpose and role is to raise awareness. If any other partner in the community receives uh, referrals or interest based on the city's raising awareness, fantastic, right? Uh, we've done our job. And I think uh, beyond that, my uh, feeling is if any single business in this room is able to get online and get one additional customer, that's one customer they may not have had by being online, by being not online previously. So I want to point that out as well. Um, so with that, I'd add, open it up for any other questions that people might have for the initiative. Um, point out that the two resources you have, uh, both of which, one, one of which is for the website, and the second of which is the Google Plus online page. Um, if you already have a Google Plus, you don't have to util utilize Google's uh, social network, but the point being is that if you don't have a Google Plus page filled out, uh, you're oftentimes uh, at, at a uh, kind of a short end of trying to get found in Google. Uh, so that's why it's important to create that. Whether or not use their website builder or tool, it's meant to be a solution, an option for all of you, uh, whether you're online or not online today. Uh, as we look forward, uh, this is a year-long initiative uh, that we're intending uh, to raise awareness, so we're going to continue to pump resources out to the community. Obviously, we have your contact information uh, to make you aware of other tools. Uh, we're very curious for your feedback. Um, if you can inform us what tools and resources you feel that you're missing, where are you struggling, uh, and how we can connect you with a partner or potentially in the community to help solve your pain points. Uh, we're not meant to be your help desk, that sort of thing. We're here to raise awareness for uh, getting your business online and then ultimately connecting you with a number of resources that are available potentially in this community. So um, I thank you. Any questions? Anybody have any questions? Okay, and uh, in closing, I'd invite our partners that were uh, in the initiative to come forward uh, as they have some announcements to share with all of you this morning.